What's up guys, welcome back to Techie Setup. Today we are testing which of the latest flagship phones has the fastest charging speed from empty to full, so 0 to 100%. I have added the OnePlus 9 Pro in the mix to make it more interesting, comparing them also to this 2 years old flagship. From left to right we have the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the OnePlus 9 Pro, the Vivo X90 Pro, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, the OnePlus 11 and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You have the charger speed and battery capacity listed under each phone. So let's get this going. After the timer is started, we can see that now all phones have juice pumped into their batteries. The first one to get 100% is the Vivo in exactly 15 seconds. After approximately 1 minute, the OnePlus device is power on and shortly after, the iPhone. After around 2 minutes time, the Xiaomi starts showing the battery percentage. Let's fast forward a bit and around the 4 minutes mark, the S23 Ultra starts showing the battery percentage also. I will manually power on the S23, the Vivo and the Xiaomi, as they do not power on automatically like the OnePlus and Apple phones. As you can see, after around 6 minutes of charging, we already see some excellent results from the Vivo X90 Pro and the OnePlus 11, which now have already 29% and 27% battery charged. Third is the Xiaomi 13 Pro with 20% charged. The Samsung S23 Ultra is the last in the queue with only 4% charged, trailing even after the slow charging of the iPhone. Notice how Xiaomi, Vivo and OnePlus don't show remaining charging time like the Samsung Galaxy phone. Let's fast forward a bit and at the 10 minutes mark we have the following battery percentages. S23 Ultra has only 9% of the battery charged, the OnePlus 9 Pro has 21%, the Vivo X90 Pro sits at an impressive 41%, the Xiaomi 13 Pro has 34%, the OnePlus 11 has also an impressive 40% and the iPhone 14 Pro Max got up to only 16% but still better than the Samsung. Fast forward to the 20 minutes mark and we have the following situation. The S23 Ultra has only 30% of the battery charged, the OnePlus 9 Pro has 49%, the Vivo X90 Pro sits at an impressive 78%, the Xiaomi 13 Pro has 62%, the OnePlus 11 has also an impressive 74% and the iPhone 14 Pro Max got up to only 32%. We can already see that the Samsung S23 Ultra is starting to catch up to the iPhone. Even though Xiaomi's charger is technically faster than the OnePlus 11 charger, it continues to lag behind which makes their charging tech not that amazing. Going forward to the 29 minutes mark, we have a winner, the Vivo X90 Pro, which has managed to charge the phone from 0 to 100% in exactly 29 minutes and 13 seconds.
second is the OnePlus 11 with 29 minutes and 23 seconds even though its charger is slower and the battery capacity is higher. I have measured also the temperature of the phones and indeed the phone with the fastest charging has also the highest temp with Vivo sitting at 41 degrees Celsius. Next, in the third place, after 36 minutes and 11 seconds, the Xiaomi 13 Pro reaches 100% charging, an excellent result nonetheless. Technically, according to the specifications, the OnePlus 9 Pro 4500 mAh battery should have charged to full in 32 minutes with the included 65W charger, but I guess the battery degraded over time after 2 years of use, or the buggy software prevents it from charging as it should. We will now fast forward to the 1 hour mark and we notice that indeed the Samsung caught up and even surpassed the iPhone in battery charging, sitting at 88% compared to the 80% of the iPhone. After 1 hour and 19 minutes, the Samsung S23 Ultra is finally charged with its 45 watts charger. There is definitely something wrong with the OnePlus 9 Pro battery as it's not charged until now. After 1 hour and 23 minutes, the iPhone battery is only 89% charged. After 1 hour and 30 minutes, the OnePlus 9 Pro battery is finally full, a wildly different result compared to the charging speed I had 2 years back when I got the phone. After 2 hours and 9 minutes, the iPhone has reached full charge from 0 to 100%, a very bad result as it's 50 minutes slower compared to the S23 Ultra and also to the charging speeds available today for other phone brands. Indeed, the battery will last longer in time, but taking into account you also change your phone once in a few years or maybe yearly, I don't see the point in having to wait that much to charge, especially as we live in a fast-moving world where you sometimes need to fast charge, grab your phone and go. Alright guys, that's it for today's video, so if you found it helpful, drop a like and subscribe for more content like this. Also, let me know in the comments which phone you thought it will win. I'll see you in the next one.